God, this game is making me feel good, but also feel a bit sad at the same time. Where the fuck are we? A park? Oh, this is the, um, this is the hill where Max and Chloe sat and Max told, like, discovered Chloe's power, Chloe discovered Max's powers. The lighthouse? So what's with Arcadia Bay and the, um, the obsession with, like, giant ass statues? Actually, a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Games? Acting? Lying? So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high tech Chloe's surveillance equipment right here. fantastically tall. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Yes, let's see what I got. Sorry about Drew. Not your fault. Brother's not always an asshole. Just most of the time. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Alright, where are my boundaries? Probably past this? I don't want to head down there just yet. Nah. Okay, so what have I got? What have I got? Oh, I've got more. Yes. Did we ever play Two Truths and a Lie? Would have been you would have been terrible at it. We'd have called it Two Truths and Oh God, can I take it back? Sorry for lying, please. The guilt hurts. Uh, two Truths and a Lie should be a class in school. Feel like I've learned a lot. For example, Rachel's ambidextrous. She's a Leo, and she's from California. I also learned I've got lots. More to learn about lying. Rachel read me like an open book. She called bullshit on my made-up cat allergy. Basically, she's a human lie detector. Have I mentioned that we were on the train? It's pretty cool. Sitting there, watching the world fly by. Then we jumped off it. And wound up in some crazy-ass park. Knocked the town. No, NBD, no big deal. Captain Chloe Bluebird, Scourge of Acadia Bay. So where's the other NBD? There it is. No big deal, but there was, yes, it was. It is no big deal. I'm glad I figured that out. This Blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. Founders keepers, I guess. Blackwell's expedition. This spot marks the terminus of Ezekiel Blackwall's expedition westward to found the township of Combination and Arcadia Bay on March 14, 1836, 38. 36 really? Blackwell and a group of Pentecostal settlers left Independence, Missouri for Oregon 
on March the 3rd. Oh, it's just a, a whole year. 1839, Blackwell's expedition tr arrived at Overlook Park. Upon seeing the Pacific Ocean from this location, Blackwell determined the expedition concluded and founded the town of Culmination. The group later returned south to found Arcadia Bay. So named for Blackwell's veneration for the area's nat natural beauty and desire to live in harmony with its native people. Culmination Peak. Culmination Peak, renamed Culmination State Park, was designed as a state park in 1997 by the order of J Governor John Kitzhaber. Haber. Northwest Valor Statue, built in 1992, celebrating Culmination's sequential sequential Dwight Mueller designer. So what have I got to tag this? Dead white guy. This dead white guy? Was this how historic axe murderers searched for their next victim? Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. Fuck you, Dwight. Oh shit, there it is. <laughs> Am I gonna graffiti his foot? Sex tent. I mean, that is a sextant that he's holding. Stop sextanting the interns. <laughs> Rope. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. I've always said the Prescott family has a couple screws loose. I don't want to go there yet. Oh, I do. Yuck. Cliche much, AW and OL? I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Picnicus. If you're going to argue in public, at least have the decency to make it about something interesting. Bootness. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Okay. Happy Brat and the old yeah. car. Placard. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. A Salishan tribe totem pole. The raven stands for transformation. Its grinning face betrays its trickster spirit. The raven has many ancient stories among the Salishan and other native people. Some say the raven helped create the first man. The raven is to be respected, never trusted. Because he comes out with a fucking minigun and kicks your ass. That's badass. Okay. Hey. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. Did they think I was a beggar? My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. All right. I vandalized this one. I think every area is gonna have one to vandalize. So I'm going to look investigate the viewfinder. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. A fucking rock. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? What? Where? Oregon White Oak, aka Gary Oak. A uh, combination 
State Park's iconic white oak tree is one of the oldest in the Pacific Northwest. Its curved chair-like growth pattern reflects the Native American customs of shaping such trees to mark uh, trails or denote areas of cultural importance. Estimated age of tree is at 400 to 450 years old, although interior butt rot, <laughs> butt rot prevents more accurate analysis. A scar on the northern end of the trunk attests to the tree's survival of a direct lightning strike approximately 200 years ago. 42 feet, diameter of breast height, 46 inches, 64 inches I mean, age 400 to 500 years old. Narrow rings indicate times of drought, disease or growth uh, from wildfire. The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. Looks like this one might actually be working. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? Have you got tools? That is the look of a person who is used to getting what she wants. Wonder what that feels like. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? Could work. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, <laughs> right. Sh sure, let's try it. Victoria Chloe Price. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Let's read this because I love this. Chloe Price. Florium, uranium, carbon, potassium, and you and uranium. I think I don't know that spells fuck you on the periodic table. I got in trouble for you. You carbon uranium nit nitrogen tin. You called me Cunson. Huh? Tin is SN. Fuck you, bitch. You're so dead. You're. Pry. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Can I use the thing now? That's not gonna work. I need to find something else. So with that, I can... Sit. This is gonna be comfy. Just a day in the park with Rachel Amber. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away? And then when you do think about it, you start thinking about it a lot. And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. Yeah. yeah. Let's not do that today. At all. Today's been fun. I see a bin that's been kicked down, so I'm gonna rummage in the rubbish, I guess. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Boo. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self respect. But. This trash can is in pretty high demand. Bye, you fools. Hey, she did the Gandalf thing. The fuck, the squirrels came back. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self respect. What? 
What kind of birds don't like don't move when you, when you get this close? Can we file something in? Yuck. Cliche much A W and O L. Okay. Look. Look. I'm gonna need a bigger prior majigger. Fix the view. <laughs> I love that. I love that Chloe always has something in her hand, even though her hand is lacking every form of detail. Tie the rope and tire swing onto the thing. Looks like this one might actually be working. Hey, Rachel. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out. Wait, is that the same AW as before? Not afraid of commitment, I see. Fuck you, AW. TK and MJ forever. Hi, Mom. Is there anything metal around here? Metal! Okay. What, that thing? This thing? Oh! So, don't throw Rachel's shit away. Stealing a dedication plate takes... persistence. <laughs> I'm, I'm, can I... Can I pick the nail file back up? Hey, Steph. Oh, no. Thanks. All right. Time to jimmy that off with the, uh, with the, with this plate. First got power, activate. The lack of enthusiasm. I love it. One. Got the quarter. Guess who got the quarter? Not to brag. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Cool. Here you go. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. This is weird. Alright. Here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Grill. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Alright, man. Think this guy's married to a nutritionist? He's all like, I'm not allowed to eat this stuff at home, so... I love grease. I love grease. How can something that tastes so good be so wrong? Oh, 
dropped a fry on my suit. Now I'll have to burn it. Good thing I have a giant squirrel costume in the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow, you made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. Perfect, right? That girl's gonna be the last one, isn't it? Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? Super wedgie. <laughs> no matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic. But also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> Is that gonna be some supernatural shit in this? Couple holding hands. Alright. Let's see. Want to come listen to music? After this, want to come home and listen to my Spotify playlist? Is it the kind of listening where you have to get under the covers to really appreciate the music? Yes, and clothes really mess with the acoustics, so... <laughs> <laughs> this is some voice acting laughs, man. This is fun. Who's next? Lady by the tree. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. <laughs> Jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Rachel's not saying anything. It's someone she knows. Vibrating bed. Oh, honey. I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Oh boy. Hey, are you alright? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Ah, fine, whatever, I'm in. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. What the fuck? I bet that's someone she knows. It's like, uh, like her dad? Okay. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Oh. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Oh, boy. Rachel? Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Take the wine. Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Swipe. They're gonna see me, aren't they? Aren't they? Fuck! Oh, thank god. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Hey, who's the one waiting? Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. What? It's time to nut up or shut up. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Keep watch? Watch her die? Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Okay. Okay. You can do this. 
I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Unlock your potential. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Ready? <laughs> She's gonna wake up. Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah. Good work, everyone. Peace out. Run. That was incredible. You're a hero. Lady, you're uh, an idiot. I guess I am. Go! You downing it? Here, you earn this. Hand it over. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. Rachel? I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. A lot of exposition. It's just, oh, we're leaving, I guess. I guess we're leaving. Okay, let's go. Oh, Rachel. This is, um, this is very nice. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? Oh, it's the hangout spot. Oh, and it's also a spot for later in the game. Yeah. That's uh Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh yeah, an awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm going to go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Okay. Well, I'm going to go explore first. Call her out. Rachel, look. I, you and me, only one day. I've heard that actors are moody, but... Wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that all right with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. Bitch it up. No, I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! Ugh. Uh... That's a good throw, actually. Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel. But apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. That's a pretty good throw. I can work with that. Smash it up. Score.
Give Rachel the bat. Here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. What is like Rachel bashes Chloe's head in? I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why uh. not? Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. Okay, this is getting a little sad now. <laughs> oh, Chloe. And what is this exactly? Something more. I mean... Fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? Exactly. You know, like... A friendship. But... More. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize whatever's going on between us is special. Fuck. Come on, say something. Chloe, I'm sorry. I am really, really sorry. But... Even though I want to. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Whoa, whoa, crying, really? That's, um. Goodbye, Chloe.